Good morning and Selamat Pagi from the car free Sunday morning here in Jakarta. You guys told us that this place is car free every single Sunday morning and uh, we came here to explore this area basically parts of it turn into a market other parts are just basically car free and you can roam around on the streets where there would usually be loads and loads of cars and scooters so let's go and explore this area this is really a great incentive i think for jakarta to have this because there's literally an entire area of the city right now that's blocked off and people are walking, jogging, cycling, running, etc. Getting their exercise in on a Sunday morning. This is a really good, positive environment. Definitely something great to work towards battling the pollution and the air quality issues that large cities such as Jakarta face. You can even get yourself a little bit of free sunscreen. <laughs> <laughs> It's not only a good initiative in terms of CO2 emission and climate change and so on, it's also a very, very good uh, initiative to actually get the people out of their houses, out of the buses, out of the cars, out of the MRTs and so on, out of the normal transport systems and actually move. This is the first time since we arrived in Jakarta that we're actually seeing a lot of people move around because usually obviously during the day it's very hot it's very sunny it's very crowded there's so many cars so usually walking doesn't make a lot of sense so people rather stay inside uh, of whatever vehicle they have to get around and now there's so many people walking just being physically active being outside with the community and so on so it's a very very good initiative and it's actually a very positive vibe all around so i thoroughly enjoy it already <laughs> they're selling orange juice mixed with sugarcane juice oh wow that would Is be that pretty an interesting taste huh pretty refreshing i'd say yeah uh, it's fantastic how they have all of these markets there's a lot of markets we're actually just outside the Sarina shopping center area right now. And they have a stall selling pizza, juices, buns, a whole bunch of different stuff. Hello, Peggy. <laughs> it's really cool. It's really amazing to see. So many nice people, happy, smiley, good vibes. This yeah. is uh, this is such a unique experience. Very, very unique and so vast as well. I'm currently trying to figure out if anybody here is selling a coffee maybe. Oh, because a coffee it's so would be nice. Early. Yeah, it I is would really like a coffee, like a warm, hot coffee, whatever. But I, I, I don't know. It's so big. It's a little uh, overwhelming at times. <laughs> He's very ambitious. Ab ambitious? Ambitious? Ambitious. Very ambitious about what he's selling. Hmm. Nothing like stabbing Hello Kitty in the head on a Sunday morning. <laughs> I'm not awake yet. You <laughs> like. This is fry. Free, free, free. Oh, cool. Tester free. Nice. Okay, and this is Thai tea and kiss tea and Thai tea. Ooh. Yes. Oh, nice. Thai tea. This is nice, nice, nice. Ooh. Thank you so much. Thank you. Can you. Thank you. Try, try. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Oh. It's very uh, nice. Re review, review about the Where Thai are you? tea. Uh, my stand in back. In the back? To back, the right? uh, but medium, medium. Medium. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you get there? You can go strike and the uh, right. Oh, okay, right. first one. Oh, okay. First one to the right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get a Where tighty. Where do you come from? Sorry. Ir Irlandia. Irlandia. Oh, Irlandia. Oh, Irlandia oh. and uh, my my wife is Ger German. Oh, German. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I am French Germany. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> I fans meet with Ozil, you yeah. know, Ozil, and then Thomas Muller. Oh yeah, uh, it's the good player. Good player, yeah. yeah, yeah. In Irlandia, I fans Robbie Ken. Robbie you know, Ken, yeah. Ken. It's very good. 
Tasty. Uh, well, nice, uh, thank you. <laughs> enak. Enak, enak. <laughs> oh, uh, you, YouTuber? Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, nice. Making a video for okay, oh, Jakarta okay, Car Free Day. Car Free Day, oh, it's nice. Uh, uh, what is the uh, what is the your trainer? Uh, two two mad explorers. It's tidy. Uh, it's tidy. It's minty. And it's tidy. This is mint. Yeah, it's mint. I'm chai. Which uh, one do you want? Uh, Whatever you prefer, babe. Well, I t I, I a, want the mint tea, but do you want a, a chai or something? Chai. I'll get the chai tea. Chai tea. Yeah. One mint, one chai. We're Which gonna be so mint. hydrated. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> uh, German than Irlandia. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're from Jakarta? Yeah. Nice. We, Beautiful. We are from Jakarta. Very nice city. <laughs> Been to Bali? No. Uh, no, oh, not okay. yet. Yeah, you, you must try it. You must Beautiful try it. island. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bali is the best. It's yeah. the best? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The best. <laughs> yeah. Nice beaches. Yeah, nice beaches. Yeah. It's good, you good, like good. City or you like <laughs> Lombok also nice? Lombok. Yeah, yeah. Lombok. Yeah, it's nice. Lombok. Yeah. Bali, uh, a lot of tourists. Oh, 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 now I said at the beginning that this is 6 to 11 but it is just after 10, 10 p.m. and the cars are back on the road. The markets have shifted over to the side of the road so the markets a lot of them are starting to slowly wrap up but I think a lot of these vendors are going to probably hang around until around 11 a.m. But the cars are definitely back on the roads, moving around again. I suppose when you have a city as large as Jakarta, it is pretty difficult to maintain a total car-free environment for uh, four or five hours at a time. But nonetheless, an absolutely incredible experience. A very unique experience and definitely something that you have to try out if you are coming to Jakarta for sure. It's very, very interesting as well to see how fast the change happened. So we, there was just one car legitimately with a speaker saying, uh, attention please, the traffic is back and in Indonesian. I cannot obviously not say it in Indonesian. And uh, then all of a sudden everybody just started to pack away their stuff and the cars started moving in immediately. So there's no like, oh, come, come, try to put away your stuff very slowly. It was very fast, the change. After all that walking, we got a little bit hungry because obviously we haven't had any breakfast yet and we want to try a local delicacy which I believe goes by the name of Gado Gado. Uh, so we came to a place called Gado Gado Boplo and uh, we're currently looking at the menu or Luke is looking at the menu to decide what we are going to have but I believe it will be somewhere along the lines of Gado Gado. Uh, Gado Gado uh, Satu Sate ayam, satu, and uh, soto ayam, satu. Soto ayam, satu, sate satu, with rice. Gado, gado, satu. And then, um, do you want the te tarik? Wait. Oh no, this is te tarik. Uh, te tarik? Ice. Te tarik, ice, uh, dua. Te tarik, dua, sate ayam, satu, soto ayam, satu, gado, gado, satu. Terima kasih. Wow, so very first time to try gado gado which gado gado i believe is the uh, vegetarian version of ketoprak now we haven't tried ketoprak yet but i believe gado gado is a very popular dish for vegetarians vegetarian kind of salad style dish so we're definitely excited to try that we also got some satay some chicken satay satay i am as well and uh, soto i am too so these are three things that we have not tried yet in Indonesia in one video, so very excited. We're also feeling extremely hungry because we've been walking around now for quite an extended amount of time. We've been out walking, we, st we, we kept walking for around another hour after the car free day ended. So we've been out walking now uh, this morning for around 
four, four and a half hours in total. So we've definitely burned off enough calories, I think, to justify getting some delicious Indonesian food. So the um, satay ayam unfortunately was sold out in the end. When I went in to pay, they said it was sold out. So we only have the soto ayam and the gado gado. Sorry, I have to keep looking what it's called, but the restaurant, uh, thank God, is called gado gado boplo. So I know exactly where to look if I forgot what the dish is called. Both of the dishes just came out and they look absolutely magnificent. Now the soto is on an open flame, which is a little bit scary, but uh, yeah. We're gonna try it anyway. Um, ah. I was looking for the cutlery. I don't even know where to start here. Oh my god. Is this a peanut? It looks like a peanut a kachang sauce. I think it's a peanut sauce, yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Tastes like peanut butter. Yeah? Oh my god. Tastes like a sweet and salty peanut butter. Oh, very, wow. very interesting. So I'm just gonna go in grab myself a cucumber, a bean, and what looks to be a, maybe a potato, if it goes onto the fork. Okay. With all that delicious peanut sauce. Mm. Wow. This is absolutely amazing. Have some nice hard boiled egg here as well. Now it's kind of like a, like a salad. Yeah. It's a salad with peanut sauce basically. Very, very interesting. I never had something like this. There seems to be a good bit of salad and maybe some cabbage in here. And these like nice crunchy bits. Yeah. Very interesting. Never had anything like this. I'm a little, my, my taste buds are a little bit confused. Trying not to drop the potato into my teeth. This is amazing. Good. Wow. Really good. 10 out of 10. Wow. First time trying Gado Gado. Very interested based off of Naomi's reaction. She seems to really like it. So, yeah, it's basically a salad with peanut sauce. Um, again, very, very different from anything that uh, we've ever tried, to be honest since we started traveling. We've never really tried something similar to, the, to this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look for a bit of potato, get a bit of greenery, maybe some of that lettuce as well, and a nice crispy chunk of this stuff here too. And I'll just put it all in at the same time. Mm. It's like peanut butter, no? It literally tastes like peanut butter salad. It's very good. It's nothing that I would have ever imagined that it would actually taste like when I look at it. But it does legitimately taste like a peanut butter with fresh salad and these like crispy sort of um, almost like a prawn cracker but it doesn't taste doesn't taste like prawn. This has to be the most unique thing that we've tried so far since we've come to Indonesia. We tried pisang goreng, like fried banana, but this, this takes it to a whole different level. And this is actually a piece of tofu here. So I have like a tofu with peanut sauce. It tastes like peanut butter. Yeah, it just tastes like soft, peanut butter with tofu. Wow. Really good. I'm enjo enjoying it. And the flame of our soto went out by itself. Oh. I don't know if they put like a little bit of uh, burning agent in there that automatically turns off after a while. Maybe. You want to give the soto a try? I'm going to give the so soto I am a try. No, I have no idea now what exactly this is. But again, very first time trying soto I am as well. Let's see what it's let's see what it's all about. So you have the mee here, which is um, noodles. 
we've got some shallots on these crispy pieces which look really good I'm gonna put them into the beautiful soto I am the chicken broth I think what I'm gonna do is take some of the noodles and some of the egg yolk in there too and then I'm gonna place it on one of these oh I dropped it place it on one of these crispy things here crispy thing place it in my mouth mm. oh my god that is fantastic the broth is really really strong flavor of chicken the noodles are super soft almost like a like an angel hair type of noodle so they're really really thin noodles and then um, the, those you have two or three hard-boiled eggs you also have potato so you actually have nice beautiful soft potato in there and you have these crispy crisps in there too potato chips whatever you want to call them and you do also have shredded pieces of chicken as well so this is a really nice hearty incredible soup I think if you eat all of this to yourself you're gonna be full for a very long time I'm gonna give some of this chicken a try here with some of that amazing broth and the noodles yeah this is really 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 good Indonesian food can't beat it really 10 out of 10